Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and to our platformer tutorial series. So in this part of the series, I'll be showing you how you can add in a platform for your player to walk on, add in gravity to your player and also how to make your player jump in Godot. So just in case you missed the first part, you can click on this card right here to watch that. And also, if you want to follow along with the tutorial from this point, I'll leave a link in the description of this video where you can download the exact um, source code at this point of the development. So the first thing we need to add is a platform. We can choose to add a platform as a sprite and then add a collision shape 2D so a player can walk on that. But you see, the problem with that method is that it is time consuming and it creates unnecessary amounts of nodes. The best way to do this is to make use of the thumb map node. Now to use the thumb map node, you need to select our node 2D because we'd add a thumb map node as a child of our um, node 2D. So let's select node 2D, click on the plus sign and then type in tau and you should see this tau map here so create and we should have our tau map placed there next thing you need to move into your inspector you should see this new um, properties right here and you need to focus on this one right here which is a tau set now we need to create a new tau set you can do that by clicking on this and clicking on new tau set okay and there you go we now have a tau set now we need to bring out our tau set editor you can do that by clicking on this and you should see this which is the editor for our thou sets. Next we need to drag in our flow object, our flow sprite sorry. And I need to locate our flow sprites using our file system right here. So file system I saved mine in assets, base pack and thous and here we go. So this will be making use of so let's drag this in here. So the next thing we need to do is click on the new single thou. So once you click on this, you can double click on your sprites in here. So you should see this, we've selected this region. This is the region we've selected. As you can see, I'm, I've selected the top region now. Here I've selected um, this region which contains the sprite object. Next, you need to click on collision. So this is the collision for our... Um, thou map so you need to select this and select this shape which is a square shape and drag so we've now added a collision to the sprite object so just in case you have a problem with your snap or just um this purple lines that's what i'm referring to so just in case it doesn't fit your thou um perfectly you can fix that by heading into this properties right here and clicking on snap options and select the step. So here I have mine set to 70 by 70. That's why it fits um, perfectly. So by default, you should see yours at, um, I think, 30, 30 or 35 by 35. And you'd need to change that to the size of your sprite so it fits perfectly. Now let's head back with that selected. Let's go back into Thou Map. You need to click on this and we should see our Thou object right here. Now we can create this in the scene by dragging in. So if you pay attention closely, you see that this is overlapping the previous tile because the grid size is smaller than the sprite. Now to fix this, you need to go back into the thumb map properties, cell, and set the size of the cell to 70, which is the size of my tile. So use 70 by 70. That should fit perfectly. So place my tile now. You can place your tile by, by pressing your left mouse button on the keyboard and dragging like this. And you can clear the tau by pressing the right key on the keyboard and dragging like this to clear all the thaws you've created. So there you go. Okay, so now we have our thaw and that's it for our platform. Now let's go into our player script. You can do that by either going into script here or, or clicking on the script right here. So click on that. And we should be in the script. So if you enjoyed the tutorial, please like, subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss future uploads like this. So before we add in more lines of code, we need to modify the codes we currently have in the scene. Let's start from the top. The first thing we need to do is take this 
line out of this function so i'll press ctrl x on my keyboard and take that out of that function and paste it right here okay so let's take out this input press ui down it's a platform game and unless you're climbing a ladder you don't actually need this um ui down right here so I'll select this and ctrl x that to clear it out so in the last part of the series we used this block of um, code to stop our player from moving once a key is released so in this part of the series we'll delete this because we would use a different code to achieve that the last change we need to make is replace this values this 111 with a variable so we can easily modify the values from the top of the script right here so clear this and clear this so set this to a plus and we'd be using a max speed in this case so we'd use a max um speed there you go and once again clear this and set this to a negative max speed there you go so we can now easily change the speed we want our player to move at so the next thing we need to do is create a gravity constant to store a so the next thing we need to do is create a gravity constant now you can create um constants by typing in c-o-n-s-t const now the difference between const and var is that value of const cannot be changed during a code execution variable can be changed during a code execution take for example here we have velocity.x and during the code's execution we add to this um variable which is velocity we add and we subtract and we add again but in the case of const this is not possible so for this we'd make use of const and then we'll type in gravity so our value for this would be set to 20 and next const and jump speed so jump speed we set this to about 700 and next would be the const floor and we'll set this to um let's get a vector vector 2 so since we'd make use of this while jumping we need to set the x to 0 and the y to negative 1 um one more thing i'll set my variable max speed to about 300 and that should do so now let's jump into our function and in here we'll set this to else if so if um the right key is pressed it adds to the player x position and if the left key is pressed it subtracts from the player's x position now with this let's add in an else right here so else um which is if these two are not true we need to set the velocity dot x and we set this to zero this should stop the player so next in this block of code we should handle our player's jump so once the up case press we want our player to jump but you see the problem with this code right now is that if we preview it our player can jump multiple times in the air and that's not what we want so what we want is to make sure the player is on the floor when up keys press so it makes our player jump only once so you can do this by adding an is on floor function so to do that let's go down and if is on floor there you go so if this is on floor add a column there and let's tab this in so there you go so if the play is on floor we want the velocity y not to be set to one but to be set to our jump speed so let's clear that out and let's add a negative because we want it to go in the opposite direction so negative jump speed there you go so the velocity y we set it to negative of jump speed now the last line we need to add in is this which is the move on slide we need to add an up direction for move on slide because right now we only have the linear velocity so to add the up direction you need to add a comma right there and we set our up direction to floor there you go and that should save and with this um i think our code is ready so let's preview this okay something's wrong our player is not falling um uh, okay i think the problem is that i forgot to make use of the gravity um constants which we declared because we need to assign this to the velocity dot y so let's close this and back into our code let's place that right here um directly below this um jump so let's set this to velocity dot y and set this 
to plus equals to um set this to plus equals to gravity so there we go and let's preview this and hooray our player falls down now and here you can see our player jumping and moving on the platform so there you go that's how you can add in jump and gravity to your 2d platform game so the next part of the series would continue working on this game so if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like subscribe and um share i'll see you guys in my next godot tutorial thanks for watching